with six players in the box waiting for a cross and 35 metres out, you're not going to beat uh, Saeed Jaffa, who has been magnificent taking over the two legs there. So definitely a poor, poor choice of uh, decision making there. Former Australian international Abbasad providing the expert words as we come into a tense three minutes for Bahrain. This arguably the biggest scalp of their international career. If they can hold on. If they can hold on, and you keep uh, bringing back Bahrain's uh, uh, misfortunes over the years, and I, I, I hope for them it's not going to happen to them one more time. But there's two and a half minutes to go, so anything's possible. Al Qatani keeps it alive. The header, it's in. It's been put in by Al Matashari. a playoff against New Zealand. Oh, the tragedy for Bahrain. Oh, I can't believe it. I cannot believe what I just saw. And it, Al Montashari, central defender for Saudi Arabia, which could be... Uh, uh, I really feel for those guys. I really feel for those guys, but, you know, credit to Saudi Arabia. They never stop, and a magnificent header there by Al Montashari, and that could be the winning goal. The former AFC Player of the Year, a central defender of immense quality, thrown up front for the last five minutes, has rescued Saudi Arabia in injury time, in a playoff. How cruel is this game for Bahrain? Well, that's football, and, uh, mate, whatever you tell me from now on, I'm, if you tell me to go and buy a lottery ticket, I'm going to go and buy a lottery ticket, because you called it, but what a magnificent ball by Yasser al Qatani, And these guys have defended so well, but they've just... I didn't think they expected Yasser to pull the ball back. It was a beautiful ball and a great header. Credit Yasser al Qatani for chasing the lost ball. Mohamed Noor and Malik Maz. Goes down. Hussein Ali. Hassan Falata loses out. Barber. Saeed Jalal. Bahrain just got to get bodies forward. They've just got to pull forward. They're out. Salman Issa. Last chance salute. This is all or nothing. The header's in! Oh! Abdullah Baba! What? What a finale! What a finish! got the playoff against oh. New Zealand. This football is the oh. most magnificent sport. Oh, don't we love this game? I, I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. That is a magnificent header. I don't know by who. I think it's Said Adnan. No, it's Barber. Abdullah Barber for Tari has found the corner. And Bahrain were down and out and dead and buried. And now they're back in. I'm playing New Zealand. They are definitely playing New Zealand. It's three minutes and it's already four minutes. It's one minute extra. The referee has got to, he's got to whistle. That is it. Here it comes. We've had two goals in injury time. We've had the dreams of Bahrain dashed, the dreams of Saudi bashed, and Bahrain have secured a remarkable two-all draw, a sensational two-all draw. It puts them in a playoff against New Zealand, home and away for Asia World Cup qualification. Abbasad brings some sanity to this moment. <laughs> Mate, that is one of the most remarkable matches I've ever seen. And to be honest, and to be fair, look, they deserve, if they can score two goals away, they deserve to play in New Zealand. 
They were absolutely magnificent over the two leg and they deserve to win the first league. And look, they've come here and scored two goals. Hey, good luck to them. And I really hope they go all the way to South Africa. I hope my New Zealand friends don't hate me for saying that. But it's going to be a great game with the Kiwis. It won't be an easy game. Saudi Arabia took the lead to Al Shamrani on 13 minutes, pegged back by JC John on 42. Then they scored deep into injury time through Al Montashari. We thought they were playing New Zealand. Bahrain gave it their all, had spirit. One last corner headed home by Abdullah Baba Fatadi. Two each the final score, two each on aggregate. Saudi Arabia are out, they're missing the World Cup finals. For Bahrain, the dream is still on from Abbasad and Des Korkil at the end of a remarkable night at the King Fahad International Stadium in Riyadh. We wish you a very good night. Watch the Riyadh wherever you can, it really is worth it. World Cup football at its very, very best. Al Shamrani picking up a man.